I'm craving a little old fashioned talk through makeup video. What do we think? I'm putting some primer on right now. I have multiple breakouts and I burnt my forehead, so I'm gonna cover those puppies up. I have not gotten my eyebrows done in forever. For my eyebrows, I use the Anastasia pomade and to be completely honest, once I used it once, I just never stopped. I love it. It's trying to sabotage me now because I was saying how I love it. I did the at home eyelash lift. Wow, I look really, really bad right now. And please don't do it. Please don't do it. Unless you actually know what you're doing, please don't do it. I'm, what, what day are my eyebrows? Is it 2016? Am I doing the 2016 style? Because I'm never gonna get to the 2024 style. I'll tell you that right now. I've tried the like natural laminated look and I look crazy. Like that look is not for me. I wish it was though, it looks so beautiful. I love doing my makeup. Doing my makeup to me, honestly, and this is gonna sound so like, girl, just stop. But <laughs> doing my makeup to me is so therapeutic. Like, Sitting in my space with no distractions, with no noise, with no anything, literally recharges me. It just recharges me. It makes me not only feel better because I look better, but like feel better like not not overstimulated for all my moms out there it just helps me feel better literally in every aspect putting five pounds of makeup on my face it just makes me feel so good and recharged and motivated and beautiful I love it. I'm gonna clean up my brows with my e.l.f. concealer. My sister-in-law is in Puerto Rico right now, and can I just tell- I'm trying to do my eyebrows when I haven't gotten them done in months, and they are so, 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 so crusty, is literally so hard. That's why it takes me so long, because they're so crusty. I have to get them done. I'm gonna use my True Match Foundation. It is my go-to foundation. I have been using True Match for years, like, before I had the little pump. Um... And I love it. I always pump it on the back of my hand and put it on with my finger. Personally, I don't like pumping it straight into the brush. I just feel like I lose a lot of product like that. That's just me. I could be completely wrong. I feel like when I put it on directly with my finger, I'm getting, you know, all the product on my face. I just blend it out with a brush. It's like such a perfect match. I'm in the shade W4. Get the neck. 
girl if there's one thing i cannot stand it's when i don't blend out my neck and like i go to leave the house and i look in my um in my mirror in my car i want to lose my mind and the irony is i wear all of this makeup but i never travel with makeup so like not travel but like I don't leave my house with makeup in my purse or anything, and never. You would think if I'm putting this much makeup on my face, I would have like powder with me or a brush. Nope. I just like living life on the edge. After I brush my, my foundation in, I like to go over it with a sponge. Just to get rid of all of the lines that the brush may have left concealer. I'm going to use my Shape Tape Concealer in the shade 205. I'm going to use a brush to just spread that out. You know, my ear looks like I'm giving Dumbo right now, I feel. I have really been liking spreading out my concealer with a brush before blending it with the Beauty Blender because I feel like the Beauty Blender takes off too much product from my face. So if I blend it out, there's not really a lot of product for it to take off and it just actually blends it out. And I'm gonna go in with my sponge and I'm gonna blend it out. After that, I actually pop on another concealer. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. Judgment free zone right here, okay? No rules to makeup. But I take another concealer. This is the Maybelline concealer and I put it right there. I got this concealer in the completely wrong shade, but I've been loving it so worked out for me. With that, I just go in with my beauty blender because I don't care if it takes off some product. I just want to add a little brightening to that inner corner. I'm going to set everything with my go-to setting powder, which is my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Powder. I want to figure out like the best products for really oily skin so if you know please let me know because I am so oily after I set that I go in with a big brush and I just dust it all off I'm gonna bronze up my face with my elf bronzing palette I love it it has literally been a staple for me I want to look like I just got back from vacation. With that same palette, I'm going to contour my nose. So. My nose is my oiliest part of my face. So Next, I'm going to go in with my blush, my Milani Baked Blush Absolute Favorite. I have literally used these blushes for years. Sometimes I go way too heavy on a blush. Stop me. Feel free to stop me. Because sometimes, there's been times when I, I like do my makeup and I go upstairs and I'm like, Girl, somebody don't give me a brush to blend this out. But I just, I love blush. I hate looking washed out. So blush is like my security blanket. As long as I can put a little bit of blush on my face, I'm happy. Okay. I always go back in with my brush and I dust it off because I feel like I will, I'll have like a lot of excess on my face. Okay. After that, I go back in with my setting powder and I bake. Listen, one thing about me is I'm gonna bake until I die. <laughs> like, 
I just feel like baking helps me carve out my face. Like, I don't know. If I don't bake, I feel like I look not good. The size I wish my nose really was. <laughs> Once we let that bake, we're gonna put some of that e.l.f. concealer that I used on my brows on my lid so I can give myself a base. I'm gonna take my concealer brush and blend it out. I've been doing a little dollar store um, eyelash series on my TikTok uh, because I tried out some dollar store lashes that I fell in love with and I was mind blown. If you haven't used dollar store lashes, dollar tree lashes, Please go check out my TikTok and please go buy some. They're like a dollar and they are actually, they have a couple styles that are really, really natural and easy to wear and I am obsessed. So I got a couple styles that I've been trying out. So far I've tried out, um, I tried out four, but one of them I don't even, it was one of the first ones I tried I didn't like. I don't even have it. So I have record of three. Um, and I have really, really been liking them. So my goal is to find out which ones are my absolute favorite so I can go stock up on them. Because Walmart, for, for me, the eyelash department in Walmart is not doing it. Um, I went to Walmart and I bought a $13 pack of four or six eyelashes. Ardell, and to be completely honest with you, I did not like them at all. At all. So, it just didn't work for me. I love Walmart. Eyelashes, no. Hard pass. So, yeah, I've been loving them. I'm gonna try on a new pair today. So, that's why I wanna do some eyeliner. Alright, now for the eyeliner. Elf eyeliner, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. I think, I don't know if that's giving way too thick for me. I think I'm just gonna go with it. Wow, I have not done thick eyeliner like this in a really long time. Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone now and move on. While that situates itself, let me do some highlight. I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild. I've really been liking it. It's really subtle uh, highlight. After I just spent like five hours on my eyeliner. We're keeping hope alive here. We're keeping hope alive. I'm gonna put some of that on there. Cute. You ever like do your makeup and you like tip yourself up while you're doing it? Cute. Okay, girl. I'm gonna just all of this off. Then I'm gonna go back in with my eyebrow spoolie and just brush out my eyebrows to get rid of all the powder and stuff. Gosh, when I get my eyebrows done, I'm gonna look like a whole new person. Now I'm gonna take my benefit my Benefit Fluff Up Brow Wax, and I'm just gonna brush these babies down. Cause not only are my hairs ridiculously overgrown on my eyebrows, but apparently they have a mind of their own. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna do my lips. For my lips, I'm gonna use my LA Girl Sugar and Spice Lip Liner. My brush. Oh, I need to sharpen it a little bit. Okay. 
I like to overline just a little bit because I have big lips. So. There's always that one corner that wants to be a hater. All right. I'm gonna go in with my NYX Dainty Days Lipstick. I've actually been really loving this shade. I've actually been obsessing over this shade, low key. Uh, it's just such a pretty nude. Ooh. And it smells, ooh, really good. Oh, that's a pretty nude color. Let me, I think I'm coming up with a new lip combo here as we as we speak. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my Maybelline Vinyl Ink. I've really been loving this one because it gives almost the, the lip gloss look without the lip gloss stickiness. Next, I'm gonna put these lashes on, so let me be right back. Okay, so I put on my lashes. Now I'm going to put on some mascara. To blend them in. And then the last thing that I've been loving is this Wet n Wild Finishing Powder. I've been loving it because I feel like it really helps me brighten my under eyes a little bit. So I'll take it on a brush, on a very light brush, and I'll just put some right in this corner. Do you see that? I know I'm not crazy, right? And last but not least, my Morphe setting spray. I need to buy a little portable fan. <laughs> but right now, this is what we're working with, so. And with a shirt like this, I like to get some highlight and pop a little bit of highlight on my collarbone. I just like how it looks like a little bit of shine. Maybe a little extra highlight on my feet. Not like I need it because I'm super oily, but. That's it, we're giving clean and put together. I love sitting here doing my makeup, having some me time and filming it and making friends. So if you watched my video, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. 